my general advice to learn the language is when you come here integrate and the best way to integrate is get a job yeah you understand so mm. once you're on a job once you're working on a job and everyone that surrounds you is italian mm -hmm. and you don't have any other choice than to speak italian naturally you pick up some words yeah some phrases mm -hmm. and they stick because you use them you'll be using them every day every day so you made mention of the fact that you were on a scholarship so i want to ask a bit about that um are you on the regional scholarship because i know um there are regional scholarships in every um you know region in italy so yeah. which particular scholarship are you on or did you get okay i'm on a uh, university scholarship okay. okay university uh in salento for talent scholarship okay. so that's my that's the scholarship i'm on okay so Care to share I, more about it? yeah let me let me point uh something out um okay. here let me share this on this platform it is almost impossible if not impossible almost impossible mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. difficult to mm -hmm. use regional scholarship to get visa. Um, thank you for clarifying that. It is almost so anybody that is using, because I got a lot of responses when you ask, I'm on scholarship. What scholarship? Regional scholarship. I'm planning to apply for the regional scholarship. It's kind of difficult to get. So because different regions have different um, procedures, so the embassy will always want to look at one is the regional scholarship before you can get it you have to be in italy uh -huh, uh -huh. usually most times uh -huh. and um another thing is some regional scholarship don't pay immediately they expect you to have gotten a certain credit uh -huh. number of credits so how do you how do you survive for the A first year. few year, <laughs> months or years because it could be a one year after one mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So how would you survive? So these are stuff questions the um embassy also has. Ask. And you know, mm -hmm. sometimes also they they're actually looking for people that will not even put pressure mm. on the okay. government. You understand? Okay. Sometimes. Okay. So regional scholarship usually you get you cannot use it as proof enough. of fact. Yes, it's not enough for okay. proof of fact. So my scholarship, as I said earlier, is a university scholarship, tuition with uh, accommodation okay. and uh, free language class lessons. Okay. So actually, that is the essential things that you would need to study in Italy. Mm -hmm. Feeding is something is very minute, like it's just very, it's easier. You can manage you can manage yes you can manage but you see accommodation oh my goodness hey. school fees uh tuition yeah. fees you can still even manage because if you if you can get um an ESA documents you can clear um you can even get up to you can get reduced fees mm -hmm. but you see accommodation oh lord it is well <laughs> <laughs> I will soon start paying. I will start. I will soon start paying rent. So I can only say it as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how long um, did you get a scholarship for? Was it for the entire, you know, two years of your studies, or was it like a year? Then you have to get some credits to kind of like get it the other year. Okay. Yes. Um. That's the way it is. It's it's a two years program, so it's for two years. Oh. However you have to <laughs> so however you have to uh, um i have to make a minimum of 50 percent of my credits okay you okay. understand so like my first year the total credit is um 60. so i need to make um 30 30 credits mm -hmm. so that's 50 percent of that mm -hmm. before the year yeah. rolls out so but that makes yeah okay 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 
So that's good to know. So you've been on a scholarship um, for, you know, for both years. Yes. For the entire yes. two years. Yes, okay. for the entire two years. And it's really, it's going off. My scholarship is going in. Now I have to worry about rent. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pay rent. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can survive. You will survive. Don't worry. <laughs> you will survive. Okay. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the experience. Okay. okay. You've been in Italy for the past two years. Um, how has it been like studying here as a student? We are later going to talk about like, you know, student jobs. But then I want to know just for you, yeah, how has yeah. it been like? Okay, uh, first off, um, Italy is, I don't know, it's, it's very interesting. I like it here in Italy, I mean, okay. studying. Um, let's go to academics, although, yeah, they, they, um, you have to work hard, you have to study, mm -hmm. you understand, you have to study hard, because most of uh, our exams are oral exams, mm -hmm. you know? and so, and, um, and why I like it here is because it's 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 okay to to let me say it's okay to to fail that first trial. So it's okay. It's it's not like you have to you have to pass it at first trial because we have about I think three times for you in a um, during an examination call you okay. you can you can take an exam three times three three different times okay so so if you if you feel you're not ready for the first call for the first time you can decide to take the second call of the exam or the third call so it adds your own convenience mm -hmm. so you can distribute the exams your course works okay i don't want to take it now i want to take it later i want to take two now three three sometimes later you understand so it's very easy i think for that it's it makes it very easy for students and your mental health also is protected <laughs> so because you know so that kind of thing even the italian students themselves they they take their time mm -hmm. you understand so unlike some of us that are foreigners you know foreigners want to want to finish everything mm -hmm. you know we are used to systems that are always like okay finish everything but Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, it's cool. You can decide not to rush things. You can take an exam over and over again and be fine. So, but then, you know, the if you if, if a student keeps failing, mm -hmm. because I, know, I still know some people who couldn't make the 50% credit. Okay. You know, apparently. So, it's, it's not like it is easy. Easy, yeah. That's but then, if you work hard and you... You you are focused. You mm -hmm. can actually make it. Make it. Okay. And um, okay, working student jobs also are available. There are so many student jobs that you, one can do in Italy, aside from the professional jobs. Probably being a freelancer, the tech guys are working. You know, they're the big boys in town. <laughs> so yeah, we you can get that. And um, it's a bit, uh, let me say, difficult as students to get jobs also in Italy because of the language. Mm -hmm. So if apparently if your uh, boss can speak English, because some of the business owners can sp actually speak yes. to a certain extent a little bit of English. Mm -hmm. yes, and, but then you'll be working with people that, that might not understand English. Mm -hmm. So how do you communicate? So yeah. that's always friction you understand so sometimes so that's why it's it's a bit uh difficult for students to get student jobs than uh students in um, let's say the uk or english-speaking countries, countries yeah. yeah so another and um some schools actually have some opportunities for students okay okay uh, within the school within the campus so okay some call it 150 hours or something so the school will give you something to do to do okay okay, okay. And they pay okay. they pay some stipend for that 
So it's just students can just look out for these calls in their schools. In their schools, okay. So okay. another thing is working in probably restaurants. You can work in the restaurant, you can assist the chef, you can work as a server, just, okay. just to keep body and souls together. <laughs> you can work, you can work with delivery companies. Mm -hmm. And there's also another um, delivery companies, and you can also work as a stock keeping for okay. uh, for for supermarkets. So okay. what you do is um, after the supermarket has closed for the day, they take mm -hmm. you there. You take stock of the current goods they have. They have oh, okay, okay. So okay. I think in the big cities they do this. They do but this. In my city, I don't think that kind of job exists. So my advice to people is actually try to reach out to people that are students, foreign students living in that city. city. That you're going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. you'll be able to get first-hand information because information. what works in city A doesn't work in city B. Yeah, that's true. So that's why I I still emphasize on probably joining a community if you mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. have any. So okay. and following people like Anita. <laughs> that, shares <laughs> and, <laughs> that shares information and uh, and, all, and so. you and so. you as well guys yeah. he's he, he's going to tell you so much about um you know a community he's like you know getting to the end of the session he will share with you a lot so that you guys are able to kind of like connect because it's good for you to be surrounded by a community you don't have to do this study in italy alone okay yeah. There's a whole community for you. So um, now let us talk. What are the opportunities like in your region? What are the opportunities? And then are you currently, you know, doing any student job? Do you, do you care to share about that too? Okay, yeah. Um, in my region, there is something called, uh, I think it is across Italy. Okay. Uh, Servicio Civile. Uh, Okay. So uh, this is what I'm doing currently. Okay. Uh, it is a volunteering job. Okay. But on campus, so you'll be posted to um, I'm on the, um, doing um, history and cultural uh, part of the program. Okay. So I'm posted to the museum on campus here. So okay. what I do at the museum is just um, data entry trying to um, fill up the database B due to my experience in management engineering and um, okay. with data. So I handle the database. Okay. So what I, and um, I translate most of uh, their digital content from Italian to English. Oh, okay. So yes, because almost all what is on the database were in Italian, Italian. and I got Okay. So the way they add it also is when you enter the museum, you can scan a particular, you can scan a specimen, a fossil. Mm -hmm. to do, you can start, scan the barcode to take mm -hmm. you directly to the well digital content, more explanation about the okay. about the fossil. So okay. what I did was to translate all the Italian content into English okay. under the supervision of um, a professor. Okay, you, okay. You know, I'm not an Italian speaker, so <laughs> yeah. there, there will be some little errors and all that. Yeah, so yeah. You correct some of these things. Okay, this is not the right word. This is the okay. right word to use. You understand? So, okay, okay, so okay. do that. And also rearrangement, because you know, you we change, we are we rearrange the whole uh, museum sometimes. Okay. Sometimes, okay. okay. And also uh what have you so the program itself also, the, we have some trainings that we do. Okay. Uh, online, you understand? Trust me, purely in Italian. Yeah. So, okay. so you can know, you can know how, uh, how taxing, how challenging it, it's going to be. Yeah. So, but aside I that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. No, I was going to ask, ask oh. aside that, what are the opportunities like uh, in like you know the your region okay 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 so aside from that uh, volunteering you can also work as a courier okay so delivery um freelancer 
there are quite okay. a number of delivery companies here in in lecture that you can apply to um another opportunity also is um, okay i've mentioned restaurant jobs there's also babysitter mm -hmm. you understand? so because yeah. most italians also want english speakers to babysit for them okay. so that while you babysit you can teach their teach. children their kids how to mm. speak english okay so you know communication the child can see someone to speak english with so okay. you can also be an english teacher i okay. did that also for a couple of weeks english okay. teacher with the person okay. i met so okay. we just just come around we speak english and all so that's, okay. that's basically it for my university University. Okay, okay. So aside from working at the museum, I don't know, have you also worked at other places as well? Yes, okay. Last year summer, I worked at mm -hmm. um, restaurant okay. and there are a lot of beaches around here. So so yeah. you can always go to work on the beach. Work on mm -hmm. the beach is during the summer, it's always nice. Like the pay is much more better, it's higher. Okay. Okay. So just go there for uh, I was there during last year summer and I walked on the beach. Okay. So because of my thesis right now, I couldn't go and uh, I have also the volunteering job right oh. now, so okay. I couldn't travel. Okay. So, um, so restaurant okay. restaurant job is promising. Longer hours, but then longer hours of uh, four officially four hours you have to work and all so. Time. okay 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 so is it possible for one to kind of like be able to work and then manage a student job like what are some of the things you suggest um can help incoming students to be able to kind of like um work and then um, manage a job as well because you know you have to kind of like make the needed credits um but then you also want to be able to make something small on the side okay so first is i i feel that the human mind is very very um let me say it's very very uh unique such that mm -hmm. if you can it is what you give to it that it returns okay so if you know that okay this is what you need to do to survive mm -hmm. you just have to find a way to balance you know wow. work-life balance you understand so mm -hmm. the best my advice is Look for a job that is flexible. Okay. Possibly mm -hmm. um, that is even that is also probably later in the evening or at night. That will okay. not affect your studies. That is okay. That okay. will not affect classes. Mm -hmm. So if you can find that, then I think you will have nothing to really worry about. Oh, yeah, so but... you go to school during the day, you do whatever you have to do during the day, then at mm -hmm. night, then you do. So if you can be a freelancer also okay okay perfect. that would be great you decide you can decide when you want to work or when exactly. you don't exactly i always look on that i yeah, yeah. So really, uh, before coming i advise people to actually pick up probably um a skill a digital skill most of mm -hmm. uh, possibly and mm -hmm. try to find a way to convert it to money mm -hmm make money so if you're a freelancer yeah i know at a particular point in time freelancing also is taxing but then you get to work whenever you decide or you feel to work not so yeah. you are forced or compelled to sure. yeah. so yeah That's and true. the career jobs also most of them also are flexible oh, okay okay and so because you book time you want to work so if you feel like you have other things you need to do you have to study a particular day you can decide not to book the time. Oh, okay. okay. That was what I, that's what I did. So. Okay. 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 So next up, let's just talk about the weather in you know your region and then also cost of living because that's very important. If anyone is moving to your region, they will want to know. Okay, are things expensive there? You know, and all of that. So, on average, what do you think? You know, is the cost of living? there and in the weather as well okay yeah um in my region my region is uh, i'm in the southern part of italy mm -hmm. in the salento area mm -hmm. so generally cost of living in this area is is low okay relatively low compared mm -hmm. to the northern part That's so 
my city lecture is very low. Okay. So at least for an apartment, you can get an apartment, a student apartment between the range of 150, 180 euros to 220 euros or to, to, to 300 euros. Okay. Very affordable. Very affordable. Very affordable. Very affordable. <laughs> so it's quite affordable and um i think yeah cost of living is low and even mm -hmm. feeding because i had a friend yeah. from bologna that came to say hello to me here and he was just surprised that the cost of living it was like wow would i would i relocate to <laughs> 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 so, so, so okay. the cost of living is is very low very the only challenge is just probably you know you as i said earlier yeah, the student job are valuable um oh, yeah. might, it will be difficult to get, get. but mm -hmm. then if you are probably a freelancer that you work online just come to lecture live your life here in your life enjoy yeah. and we have a lot of pages so we can you can, you can yeah 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 okay and then the weather is it you know How's the weather? Yeah, the, the weather is uh, much more better than the north. The north, okay. Yeah. okay. So it's usually it's hot, and um, even during winter, during winter it's it's not really cold. It's not too cold. Okay. Okay. So that's, during, that's... during winter, I think it's about eleven degrees or so. Oh, okay. During the, during the day, although yeah. at night it would go as high as three degrees. Yeah. Yeah. as low as three degrees so rather okay. Okay. and during summer we are experiencing about 30 plus Whoa. 30 plus uh what's it called 30 plus degrees okay 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 so the weather is nice from yeah here. yeah that's 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 a nice from weather coming, coming from africa uh that's so good good for you good for you more, it's more better better okay okay mm -hmm. So let's talk a bit before you know we wrap things up. Let's talk a bit about um, learning Italian because I know you did mention, oh, you know how important that is to kind of like get in a job. What do you suggest, you know, for incoming students? What are some of the ways, based on your experience, that you can kind of like pick up the language as soon as possible, even probably before coming in, knowing something a little, and then when they come in. Okay. Yeah, before coming in, um, they can take some online classes. They can take some online courses like uh, Duolingo. Okay. So I I use this also before coming. Mm -hmm. But trust me, whatever you learn from there, you will just be able to pick some words, not to have full conversations. Mm -hmm. So well, my general advice to learn the language is when you come here, integrate. Right. And the best way to integrate is get a job yeah. you understand yeah. so once you're on a job once you're working on a job and everyone that surrounds you is italian mm -hmm. and you don't have any other choice than to speak italian naturally you pick up some words yeah some phrases mm -hmm. and they stick because you use them you'll be using them every day every day mm -hmm. yeah although school also helps for mm -hmm. the grammar and the conjugation of conjugation. words yeah you understand so attending yeah. a structured learning but if you are um what most most of us fail to do as foreigners is we only concentrate on the structured learning we don't mm -hmm. interact we always interact. Within the community yeah so the best way to actually interact the easiest way is to find a job to work on a job so okay. if you are on the job, there's no there's no way you won't have to communicate in Italian. Italian, yeah. 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 So because yeah. Right then also when people speak around you, you'll be able to pick up some things. Okay. You get so okay. 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 Thank that. you for sharing that. So what are your final words to incoming students? Would you what advice do you have for them? Yeah, okay see. yeah um first is italy is a lovely country like uh forget all the things you've heard or you've read about like about italy before i came in i, I heard a lot of of things mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you understand? So, so many people told me, don't pick it up, blah, blah, blah. Don't pick up the scholarship since it's not, they're not paying stipend and all that. But then try to just focus and find, um, come over, see things yourself. Mm-hmm. And, um, and when they when they give you this information also about the language as a barrier, it's not it's not like um, just have it at the back of your mind that so far people are there, people like us are here, mm-hmm. and Anita also is here. So mm-hmm. since we we came from from zero level of Italian and we are yeah. still here surviving, and mm-hmm. I have a, quite a number of colleagues too that are not on scholarship and they are also mm-hmm. surviving. Wow. So definitely the survival mode will kick in, we set in. And as I said earlier, the mind is very, is an amazing um, part of us that mm-hmm. once we are in the system, there's no how we'll find a way to survive. And uh, yeah. we want it to be, I know it's a fun, fun field experience. <laughs> and when you come, try to talk, seek um, the necessary documents that, that you need. Okay. So yes, to the ground to know the necessary documents you need to pick up yeah. immediately you are arriving. Okay. So we'll okay. think that's fine. That's okay. 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 So guys, um, he's going to share his details, and then I want you to tell them about the Nigerian community, so that those who are coming in and then they want to find a community, um, they want to kind of like get assistance they'll be able to also get in touch with you so please do share your details and tell us a bit about the community okay yeah the community is um called go italia so and um we have a whatsapp we're on whatsapp and telegram as i said i've told um anita before that it was this this community that helped me when I was seeking information about what I'm getting myself into mm-hmm. and, and the process. So yeah. I never needed an agent. I never needed mm-hmm. to pay anyone mm-hmm. because of this community. This community yeah. helped me, telling me the next stage and all that. So mm-hmm. you can, um, anybody that reached out, reach out to me. I think what I would do is- uh, The YouTube, okay. Okay, on my YouTube my YouTube channel, just search for Ayobami Obundairo. I think I'm the- I think I'm the only Ayo Babi on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but then you've seen my face, so you can track me down with Ayo Babi Yeah, I'm going to leave the details on the screen as well and then in the video description. But then yeah. um, share your Instagram as well and then the community. I'll yes, put the yes, details yes. there. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So I'll send you all the, the details okay. on that so okay. you can actually post a share in the description. Okay. So. Uh, but then I think that's that's it. That's, that's really all about me. And okay. you can reach out to me um anytime you want. And okay. but most of the most of the information I share today also they're already on my YouTube channel. Okay. So really if you follow me on YouTube, you can actually get all this information for okay. free and you can replay step by step process and all that. Okay. So okay. I think okay. that's all. Okay, okay. So guys, I'm going to leave his, um, you know, his details in, I'll put it on, on the video and then also I'm going to leave it in the video description. Okay. So if you want to get in, in contact with him, I, I highly suggest that you do so. Okay. If you're coming from Nigeria, please, please do that. If you're going, even if you're not coming from Ni- Nigeria, but then you are coming to study in his, um, you know, his university, I highly suggest that you get in touch with him so that you have like information that is going to be very useful so basically sorry, let me cut it uh it is um the community sorry the community actually is um what we all uh, uh let me say are living on you understand because what works for me might not work for someone else you get right. so you have different information you can actually see out the right thing for you yeah. Oh, okay. for yourself so i can i can guide based on if there are some personal questions you okay. understand but okay. then it's just about the community once okay. you're in the community you can ask your questions and um, okay. i believe that people can assist you from that okay. so okay. Okay. and watch my videos before you come to dm because most of the questions you might have 
I've already been there. That's why I've been there. You know, I, I, you know I, I have, have a lot of, you know I have a lot of DMs that I don't, you know. Yeah, so yeah. Please, so yeah, please, yeah. watch the videos if you watch the videos. Yeah. Really, they okay. they have um, almost all the answers. Yes, okay, right. okay, okay. So thank you so much for coming on and. It's it's been an amazing session. I'm sure so many people have um, you know will pick up a lot, and then when they need assistance, just like you said, they'll be able to reach out to you. Okay. So guys, if you happen to have any questions that you want, you know, Ayobami and I to come on and answer, you can leave them in the you know comments, and then when he has time, I'm sure he can kind of like jump on for a quick session. <laughs> all right Anika, thank you so much for the okay. session. it was really fun chatting with you and um, meeting you and um i'm so i'm so happy for this new connection i have so now if I have any, any, any italian uh, challenge i'll just call i have anita <laughs> <laughs> and if I you. <laughs> all right thank you thank so much thank you so much for coming in I'm thank so you so much for coming you. on okay bye bye Ciao ragazzi. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>